Hi, my name is Grania Fortham and I'm going to be doing a tutorial today on how to draw me from Wolf Walkers. So I've got my reference here of Maeve and I'm going to keep that close by and then I've got an eraser and a topper and I'm using a 2B pencil. So when you're ready, start by drawing the circle shape for her head and just do this slowly and keep your lines light. I'm going to be drawing in a heavier line so you can see. Um, now when you're ready with that, uh, draw in the hairline and draw in the neckline. And then you can take uh, your eraser and you can erase those extra lines there that aren't needed anymore. And that's why it's good to keep drawing in a light pencil. So when you're happy with that, um, I would recommend drawing a line down from the neck. And I put this down here just so I know the exact length of Maeve's dress. So just draw in there the shape of her dress. And so this part is all about just getting proportions right right now. So it's not about details, it's just about proportions. Next I'm going to draw in this line down here. And this line is where I'm going to make Maeve's heels um, touch off of. And by doing that, I can just ensure that her the length of her legs are the same on um, either side. So just make sure her, the heels of Maeve's feet touch off that line. And then you can erase that line as well later on. Now I'm going to move on to the shapes for her, um, for her shoulders. So just these triangle shapes. And now we're going to draw our arms. So I'm just going to show you how to draw her arms here. So a curved line on one side and then a straight line on the other. And then her left hand, we're just going to put this shape, this ball shape for her fist right now. And then same with the right hand, um, a straight line and a curved line. And then we're going to put this mitten shape. And so I know hands can be kind of tricky to draw sometimes. So I would recommend starting by drawing um, this mitten shape and then putting in um, the uh, lines for the fingers and you can take your eraser and you can draw in those lines a little clearer. Um, you can draw any kind of um, position, hand position, by drawing just that mitten shape and then going in afterwards when you're happy with it and adding in the lines of the fingers. So if you keep your line light, uh, you'll be able to just go in and do that rough shape and then um, erase it and draw in those fingers um, a little bit more clearly and drawing in the, the wrist and the arm as well. So for now anyway, we're just going to draw the curved line and then the straight line opposite it. And then for her left arm, just the ball circular shape for her fist right now. Um, her right arm is overlapping her body just a little bit, so we're going to put that in like this and then just add that mitten shape. And I can take my eraser and um, just erase that line of her dress. And just redraw those little bits that I've, I've erased. So now we're going to do, draw in the shape of her hair. So I would recommend um, just mapping out exactly what length, what width um, the hair is going to be on each side. So do that first, map out the most important parts. And if you're happy with that, then you can, if you're happy with the proportions, you can draw in the rest of the shape for her hair. So just figure out the width on either side and draw in those details and then draw the full shape. So now just look at uh, your reference and look at your drawing and just make sure that everything is in proportion. Um, I can see that I think my arm here, her arm is just a little bit too thick. So I'm just going to make that a little bit um, thinner there and just make sure that her hair and her head and everything is in proportion. And then we can move on to the face. So I draw in a cross on the face to begin with, just so I know exactly where the eyes and the nose are going to be. And make sure your pencil is really sharp for these small details. So just draw in two circles, two big circles for her eyes on either side. 
and then uh, smaller circles within those for her iris. And then we're going to do um, two black dots for the pupils. And now I'm going to show you how to draw the nose. So Maeve's nose, the way I draw it is like one bracket, and then another bracket, and then like an upside down W shape, like that. So just one bracket, and then one on the other side, and then this upside down W shape. I'm going to add that in there. And once that is done, I'm going to add in her smile, the curved line of her smile under her nose. Then you can add in the ears, so the outer ear line, and then there's the inner ear line. Now she has this little bit, it's like a bite taken out of her ear. So with those shapes, I would always, or these little gaps, I would always draw the full shape first. Same with um, on her dress here. Draw the full shape first off and then go back and put in the parts that are missing, this tear in her dress. And you can take your eraser and um, erase those lines that aren't needed anymore. And same with on the ear there, just taking out those lines that aren't needed anymore. Now you can draw in the circle shape for her earrings. Um, Proportion-wise, they are just a little bit bigger than her ears. There we go. So now we're going to draw the eyes. So I'm going to draw in... Um, these uh, start by drawing in these triangle, these black triangle shapes um, at the corner of her eyes. And across from them, draw the same triangle shape, the same dark triangle shape. And then we're just going to darken those lines around her eyes. And that really kind of makes her eyes pop out of the drawing. So just darken, make those lines around her eyes a little thicker, just creating these dark lines around her eyes. And already you can see that her eyes start to just kind of pop out of the picture a little bit. They become a little bit more um, alive. Now for drawing her um, long eyelashes, um, I'm just going to show you how to do that here. So just add in those triangle shapes and then just lightly with your pencil add in um, her eyelashes. So keep your pencil light when you do this. And now under her eyes, she's got these three dots. So we'll just add those in on either side. So next, um, I'm just gonna draw in her belt. And so with her belt, don't draw a straight line across her body. Um, draw a curved line, um, just like this. And that'll give the, a bit of a more three-dimensional feel to her, that she's got this round tummy instead of um, a flat uh, shape. So just add in that line, the curved, slightly curved line there, and that'll just give this feeling that she's, um, she's not just this flat 2D character. And then drawing the belt there, I added a little bit too many lines there. There we go. So now we're going to draw in her armband. So if you just draw two lines um, on her wrist and then her elbow on either side. So two lines on her wrist and then two lines on her elbow. And then this kind of sideways V shape on either side. And then we're going to add in her toes. So just a bigger line for her big toe and then a few smaller lines for her smaller toes. And then we're just going to add in those lines there for her fingers. And now I'm just going to show you how to draw that uh, fist. 
So we've got that curved line and the straight line of our arm and then that ball um, shape for our fist. So I draw in the thumb first and then I draw this uh, curved spiral kind of shape for her fingers and then add her other fingers around it. So again, let's just start with that ball shape and then first put in um, the line for her thumb and then um, this kind of curved line for her finger and then the other fingers behind um, the first one. Just going to add that in there. And now we're going to move on to Maeve's hair. So I'm just going to show you this here. I'm going to draw this um, boring old flat circle. And now if I add these two lines, suddenly the flat circle becomes this three-dimensional sphere. So again, flat circle, if I add in these lines, suddenly there's this volume added, like it's a ball instead of a flat shape. When we add these uh, lines to Maeve's hair, it gives the illusion that her hair is this big voluminous shape that comes um, out from behind her. And so carefully just put in these um, curved lines, making sure that they're giving um, that illusion, that um, giving her just this more uh, voluminous shape. I'm drawing in these lines pretty quickly because this is only a short drawing tutorial. So you can take your time when you're drawing in these strands of hair. Now when it comes to drawing this curved part of her hair, um, there are more lines down just at that curved area, so darken up that area a little bit and just be careful that um, you're not drawing um, into Maeve's legs. Um, those strands of hair that are behind her legs, just be careful when you're drawing those. just going to draw around the shape of her hair and you can draw a couple of lines around it and they can be a little bit more rough they don't have to be um, exact so just draw around her hair a couple of times with a light um, line I'm just going to add some dark lines uh, here just to create some contrast between the lighter lines and the dark lines so just um, create a little bit more of a heavy line um, on just a couple of those strands. So now we are almost done. Can you tell if anything is missing? So there is one thing and that is the shading on her nose. And so the way that I do that is by using the side of my pencil. So just with the side of your pencil, um, shade in that area around her nose make sure that her nose is completely shaded and then you can add just a couple of lines with the tip of your pencil as well. And so now Maeve is uh, pretty much done now and uh, at this stage here I would just look at my reference and look at my drawing and just see what's missing and if anything needs changing or needs erasing and uh, yeah just use this time to kind of add the little finishing touches. So that's it for me. Uh, thank you for joy joining me and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to draw Maeve from Wolfwalkers. Hello.